What's up everybody? With NBA free agency here, the Knicks are going to get tied to a bunch of players. Recently, it was reported that the Knicks are interested in Lakers free agents Taylor Horton Tucker and Dennis Schroeder. So how good are these guys and what could they possibly bring to the Knicks? Let's break them down. But before we continue, please like the video and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a banger. Now let's get started. First, let's talk about THT. Taylor Horton Tucker is still a very young player at just 20 years old and his numbers aren't exactly eye popping, but he's immensely talented and has a lot of potential. Taylor Horton Tucker is a 6'4 shooting guard and while that isn't great height for the two guard position, He's 230 pounds and has a monster 7 foot 1 wingspan, so THT has a really good physical profile for his position. His best attribute on the court is easily his ability to attack the basket. He's really explosive, so he's able to get by defenders very easily, and he's a master at using his shrimp to bump into the defender, get them off balance, and finish at the rim. His incredibly long wingspan also adds to his finishing ability because he can use that length to put the ball around defenders and into the hoop. He's also a pretty good playmaker. If we look at his stats, 2.8 assists per game doesn't look too impressive, but he also averages 5 assists per game per 36 minutes. He's able to get in the paint with ease and he knows how to find the open man when he draws to help defense. As we can see, Taylor Horton Tucker has potential to be a really good scorer and playmaker, but he doesn't get a ton of minutes because he plays on a championship contender in the Lakers. Another strength of his game is his defense. THT doesn't just use his physical gifts on offense, he also uses that incredible athleticism and length to be a pest on the defensive end. He's got great lateral quickness to stay in front of driving players, and he knows how to use his length to contest shots. He's also got really quick hands, so get sloppy with your dribble around him and he's stealing it and leading the fast break. He's an excellent on-ball defender. While he's a very exciting player, he has his weaknesses. His biggest weakness by far is easily his shooting. He isn't much of a threat from the outside as he only shot 28% from 3 last year. While that percentage is pretty bad, he also shot 77% from the free throw line, so all hope isn't lost in him becoming a good 3 point shooter. While Taylor Horton Tucker's shooting is pretty bad, as discussed before, he's a really good slasher. If he could become a good shooter, that could really take his game to the next level. If the Knicks were to sign him, I'd love for him to work closely with Knicks assistant coach Johnny Bryant. Bryant is one of the best development coaches in the league, especially when it comes to guards. He's worked with players like Donovan Mitchell in the past. With the right development and opportunities, I believe THT could become a star, especially since he's so young at just 20 years old. Of course, we also have to talk about the fact that he's a restricted free agent, meaning the Lakers can match any offer sheet. The Lakers value THT and they aren't going to just let him walk. They reportedly declined a trade with the Raptors last year for Kyle Lowry because Toronto wanted THT. So chances are the Lakers want him long term, but if the Knicks could figure out a way to sign THT this offseason, he would be a great addition to their rebuild. Next, let's talk about Dennis Schroeder. Schroeder is another free agent, but unlike THT, he's a lot more obtainable. Unlike Horton Tucker, Dennis is an unrestricted free agent, and after the Lakers acquired Russell Westbrook, it doesn't make a ton of sense for them to bring Dennis back. Dennis played really bad for the Lakers in the playoffs, but recency bias shouldn't alter our view of his game. Dennis is still a quality point guard. For starters, Schroeder is really good at attacking the basket. He's an absolute speed demon and he's able to wreak havoc on opposing defenses by constantly getting into the paint where he'll either score at the rim or set up his teammates for an easy basket. Schroeder has always been one of the fastest point guards in the league. Even going back to his Atlanta Hawks days, he always got into the paint at will. And on defense, Dennis has a huge impact on the game as well. He picks up opposing point guards from full court, and he gets in the passing lanes where he often draws steals and deflections. He may be only about 6'1", but thanks to his super long 6'8 wingspan and grit, he's a force on the defensive end. Schroeder played a significant role on a Lakers defense that ranked number one in the league last year. 
Schroeder is pretty much hated by Lakers fans, but he was a crucial part of their team last year. After LeBron and AD went down with injuries, he kept the Lakers afloat and had them playing 500 basketball while those guys were sidelined. They probably would not have made the playoffs without him. Now Dennis still has his weaknesses. He's a horrible shooter at the point guard position. He only shot 33% from three last year and he's a career 33% three point shooter so he's not a huge threat from downtown. While that is the case, his defense and slashing would still make him an upgrade over what the Knicks currently have at point guard. Dennis would be a nice addition, but only at the right price. He reportedly wants a 4 year $100 million contract which amounts to about $25 million a year. Dennis is a nice guard to have, but his price tag doesn't really match what he brings on the court. $15 million a year for Dennis would be fine, but $25 million is way too much in my opinion. But anyway guys, that's going to be it for me. I want to hear what you guys think. Should the Knicks make a run at Taylor Horton Tucker or Dennis Schroeder? Tell me in the comments. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And have a great rest of your day.